Guess what time it is? Furry Friend Finder, where we help a four-legged friend find a forever home. Sandra DeFeo, the executive director at the Humane Society, is here with Wally. Wally, yeah. We say when he grows up, he's going to be Wallace. <laughs> mm. Of course, he'll probably have a completely different name. <laughs> Someone oh, will adopt asleep. him. And uh, right How now, old is he? Well, he's seven weeks, and he's seven pounds and gaining weight quickly. Sure. So um, we are thinking, though, he needs a foster home because ah. of the overnight care. Right now, we have somebody at work who's been taking him home at night. But as a puppy, he needs more feedings, yes. a lot of attention. And what, he's, he's a pit bull breed? He's a pit bull puppy. Okay. Yeah. Aww. If you're, if you're going to foster a dog like this, what's the ideal situation? Because I was thinking it might be nice to have him in a home where there are other animals and kids That's just to expose him. Absolutely. Um, the ideal home is someone with experience, mm. not the inexperienced first time having a puppy person mm -hmm. unless they're doing all the homework and the research. Because that's how these dogs a lot of times wind up in shelters mm -hmm. when they're one and a half, two years old because no one's done the training. And now they're out of control, teenagers. <laughs> and he, you know, he's so little right now, but how he's going to get big? Oh yeah, he'll probably weigh about sixty pounds. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's a guess. You can never tell. We had a dog that came in that was like this tiny, uh -huh. very tiny, the size of his head, it wound up being a hundred pounds. Oh my Whoa. god. What would you tell people? <laughs> you won't. know, a lot of times when people hear pit bull, they, they get, get they're out. very afraid. Yeah. So right. what would you tell people about adopting a pit bull? Well, I can tell you they're a very loyal, smart you know, mm -hmm. athletic breed. So you have to put in the time, uh, the positive reinforcement, all the good vibes to make him that great, you know, wonderful, loyal, loving mm -hmm. dog. They're fantastic. But because they're so loyal that if you are not a you know, nefarious person and you're training him the wrong way, then they're going to come, you know, be a, I don't want to say a bad dog, but they're following no, what you exactly. want them to do. It's, it's really the humans in their lives. Yes. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, a bad and inaccurate reputation for yes. the breed. And because they're also, so smart. But they're also, <laughs> they're full of muscle. Yes. They're, if you yes. look at their head, <laughs> yep. they're a very strong very dog. Strong dog. So you have to, the onus is on you to make them docile. I just think that it's great we're putting him to sleep. <laughs> at this age, they sleep a lot, but they do right. wake up in a month or so, and that's where yeah. you've got to be, yeah. you know, active with them, training, exercise is so important. You don't want to overdo it, though, when they're no. growing up because yeah. of the growth plates, but you, they need a lot of exercise, a regular routine, and yes, if you have a house with a yard you can start housebreaking them right away and we have a furry friend finder update Reggie the puppy yeah. has found his forever home in New Rochelle he lives with Nancy Aww. Sanjay and their children nine-month-old Mateo and two-year-old Ruby Ruby loves giving Reggie treats yeah. Mateo loves playing peekaboo and Reggie <laughs> is happy as a clam in his new life yes he is and I'm sure we're gonna be doing that with with yes. Wally very soon <laughs> foster or forever. yeah foster or forever that's right yeah all right for more information on furry friend finder or head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. Oh. We'll, we'll be, be back, back after a nap. Mm. Mm. <laughs>